Welcome to This Is Art Live, the special game show edition of What Is Art Live. Chris, can you hear me? All right, great, great. Thank you for that wonderful introduction. Um, we're going to get straight to the questions and answers here. So, uh, so you wonderful people out in the audience can get to winning the prizes and get your golden coins. Anyone out in the audience near Stephen Wolf Fine Arts, which is on the corner of 19th and York, get out there now so you can win your prizes. Let's meet our guest judges. All right, who do we have here? I am Willie Shredder Van Nalen. Ah, Willie Shredder. Yeah. Yeah, great style. From the classic band Van Nalen. Oh, Van Nalen. Yes. Yeah, that sounds kind of familiar. I I feel like I've I feel like I have heard of them before. Um, and then we have here. You look familiar. My name is China Chow, and I'm hosting the new Bravo work of TV art TV show. Oh, work of art. Yes, I've heard of that show. That's the other art show, right? It's the other art show. It's on Bravo. If you haven't checked it out, we have a new season next year. Okay, yeah, we're gonna check it out. We're definitely gonna check it out. And um, and then also we have Coach Deb. That is right. I'm uh, I'm a basketball coach and a teacher here in the area. Uh, I'm also a gay ally, and uh, I'm, I've been getting uh, more into to the uh, to art and its relationship to uh, to sports. So a gay ally. What do you mean by that? Well, a lot of people think that I'm gay, but uh, I'm not. I'm not actually. I'm just really supportive of the. Uh, of the uh the girls that i uh, right that okay I yeah yeah i see i see all right let's get straight to the questions and help us out judges and you all in the audience make sure to call in you want to win those prizes great works of contemporary art um if you could have a piece of art destroyed what would it be call the mystery number now if you could have a piece of art destroyed, what would it be? Anyone? Anyone out there? We're not getting any calls. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm so, upset. anyway, I, oh, hold on, hold on. Someone's calling in. All right, caller, you're on the air. Sistine Chapel. Sistine Chapel. What do you guys all? What What do you all think? Burn that shit. All Burn right. Burn it down. Burn all right. The Sistine Chapel. Thumbs up, Chris. Give him a golden coin. All right. Let's get on to the next question. We need. We need to uh, have a blowout of all this contemporary art in the Stephen Wolf Gallery. Um, next question. All right. All right, Coach Deb, calm down, calm down. Let's let's I'm getting into it. let's I'm get on task here. Let's get on task here. Competition. All right, all right. <laughs> Do you think animals make art? That is the question. Of course they do. Yeah. Mm, what do you guys think? Animals? China Chow? Do you think an animal? Oh, hold on. We have a caller. Yes, you're on the air. Go. Hello. This is Inga. Oh, Inga. Oh, Inga. Inga, you're back. You're back. Do you remember me? Oh, of course. You're one of our She's favorite cute. guests. I am back. I think animals make yeah, Inga's art. Inga's totally hot. Animals She's make totally art. Yeah. That's a pure, you think so? honest answer with integrity. She's a wonderful artist. Wonderful question. I, I mean, I I'm an animal. Yeah. I make art. That's a perfect yeah. answer. I think, of animal, I think about animalistic nature yes. on and off the yes. core. I think about yeah. pulling yeah. that energy, that, that mm. fierceness out of your core and just yes. putting it out there. That's a thumbs yeah. up. Yeah. Give her a coin, yeah. Chris. Yeah. Thank you, Inga. All right, okay. let's get on to the next question. We got to keep this rolling. All right. How do you wake Lady Gaga? In the morning, how would you wake Lady Gaga? Um, do do any of you have any any ideas? Well, I don't know. I think Lady Gaga is a total bitch. I hate Lady Gaga. You Lady hate Gaga her? That's my best friend. She sucks. She's she's a fabulous no artist. She's horrible. Yeah. Do you think she would do well on work of art? She would do well. I don't have any preconceived ideas about 
what her concept is, but... Oh, hold on. I think someone's going to answer the question here. All right, you're on the air. Go. Oh, hi. Uh, I think that she gets woken up with a golden shower every morning. With a golden shower. What's a golden shower? A shower of gold, I believe. Give her the coin. Yeah, I'm, I'm confused about that golden shower, though. Yeah, do you have any? Do you have any other thoughts on that? I, I just wish I knew what it was. Yeah. yeah. I, I think it's gold. a protein shake. I love actually. gold. Protein shake. Gold yep, I think <sighs> it is. It's from Gold's Gym. It's a protein shake they sell there. Golden shower. Yes. The golden shower. All right. Um. I had something, I had a question for you, China Child. So you, you have this show, and there was a clip, right? Yes, we, um, we have a commercial for a new upcoming season, Work of Art. It's going to air next, next year, I think. Okay. Um, I have a commercial clip we could watch. Um, Let's launch the clip. My name is China Chow, and I am hosting the new Bravo Work of Art show. My name is China Chow, and I am hosting the new Bravo Work of Art show. Art's important to me because its only use is to make you think, make you feel, make you. It's 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 just a human, completely unnecessary form of communication of expression. Um, in that way, I think it's unique. I think that we've got a really good group of artists, and they're very individual. You know, they're very they each have their own specific style and personality and what they bring. I don't have any preconceived ideas about what I'm looking for. I feel like as long as they bring something fresh, and I feel like they're um, being true to themselves. I think the biggest mistake they can probably make is to try and think about what the other artists are doing or what we're expecting or what would please us. And as long as they kind of have a clear vision that is their own, um, unfiltered, then I think that they'll probably succeed. All right. Wow, that was great. That was great. I'm really excited. I'm really excited to see that. Uh show china that it looks fantastic um <clears throat> i'm sure it's great anyway let's uh let's get on to the next question um do date or die it's a do date or die i know i know these these are really popular james franco also known as the artist known as franco china chow oh my god wow <laughs> or a can of campbell's chicken noodle soup Um, we're looking for callers. We're looking for callers um, to answer that question to win fabulous works of contemporary art, which are sitting there on the wall to the right of you now. Call the mystery number. What do you think? James Franco? China Chow? I would probably. Or the can do of Campbell's. Oh, we got a call. China Gave Chow. Oh, soup, really? Really? But That's... kill Franco. Hello, you're on the air. Go. Oh, this is, uh, this is Anne. And, uh, if I pick China Chow, does that mean she'll make love to me this evening? Um, I, I don't know. I guess, I guess, I guess we could ask China that. Come on, China. Don't let me down. Do it, China. <laughs> Cut. Chris, give that guy a coin. All right, one more question. Let's, one more question with this group. Let's see. Oh, oh, really? Really? I, I, I you know, I shouldn't insinuate. What's the difference between a conceptual artist and a scam artist? The difference between a conceptual artist and a scam artist. Coach Deb. Uh, well, when I think about scam and, and concept, uh, to, I, you know, I think that, that actually all conceptual art is a scam. And I think that all those conceptual artists out there need to get on my court, and I will have them doing push-ups until they've got some sense into their brain. But I'm sorry. That's a, you know, you take a call. Me. China? Conceptual art is 
really pure and honest, and it's really, really good. 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 It is good. All right, let's take this call. You're on the air. Go. Okay. Scam artists usually make more money. Scam artists. Scam money artists make good. more money. money is good. I believe that to be true. Give that lady a golden coin. You want a work of art. All right. I'd like to thank my guest judges. We're going to move on to the yeah. next, uh, the next Woo! round. Um, let's go yeah. out to the, let's go out to the, the man on the street and see what you they have to see. Deb. Yeah, China Cho. Comes yeah. From... Whoa. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Oh. yeah. Oh. yeah. Oh. <laughs> I'm assuming this is, must be some kind of performance. The nature of... If you'd like to make a call, please... I gotta hang that phone up. What is that? Whoops. Hey, you're welcome. It's kind of just like fucking around. We ain't ready for that. Okay. Yeah, we've been smoking. Humor and conformity. All right, great, great. That was wonderful. We have some new guests here. Um, let's meet them. All right. Who do I have to my right here? Hi, my name is Jeff Manfeld. I'm an art critic. I have my master's degree in art theory from Riverside City College, and I'm here to impart some uh, artistic wisdom from my field of expertise onto your show. Wonderful, Jeff Manfield, art critic. I apologize about my eye. I was in a uh, fly fishing incident in Nova Scotia. So. Uh, it's happened to the best of us. Uh, once again, we have T. Sebastian. You're back. Looking for a date again? Yeah, it's true. Um, um, it's true. I mean, we, we talked about it earlier, and you said, uh, you know, since we never really got around to a, the actual, like, date show um, part of your, your show, you said I could, uh, you know, sit in on this one and maybe in hopes that, uh, I don't know, somebody might call in or something. We know. will do our best to find T. Sebastian a date. People in the audience of Stephen Wolf Fine Art, if you like what you see here with T. Sebastian, sure give us a call. If you call in now, and go on a date with T. Sebastian, you will also win a piece of contemporary art on the wall to the right of you. All right, and then we have once again another another special guest that we always love to have on the show, Internet Jesus. Hello, I'm back again from the internet, and I have a message for you. 9-11 was an inside job. All right, we have a call. <laughs> it hardly seems like the place. You're on the air, go. Can I talk to T. Sebastian? T. Sebastian. For me? Yeah. There's, oh, right. there's someone out there. Hello. Can you hear me? Can you take off your shirt? Because that's going to change everything. Did they say take off my shirt? They did. I think you should take Is off your shirt, T. Sebastian. Is that appropriate for the, for, the, for the television audience? I think we can all deal with that. The excitement in the studio here, it's electric. I'll, I'll have to tell you. To oh my god. Oh my god. T. Sebastian. T. Sebastian. Hardly a Thank professional you. art critique show. Chris, Hi. give that lady a coin. She just won two prizes. And, you know, I feel like we've all won a prize here tonight. All right, let's get on to the next question. There's, we have art to give away. Let's get on. Does this mean I have a date, though? Does this mean I have a, I have a date? Maybe a reach around. All right. <laughs> Question, if you were alone on a desert island, what art piece would you want there with you? We have a call. That was that was fast. You're on the air. Go. I'd like a, I'd like a statue of Pete. Hi. What's that? The dude there. I'd like a statue of him on the island. Is that me? Oh, T. Sebastian. <laughs> Give that girl oh, yeah. a golden coin. All right. <laughs> All right. On to the next question. 
Britney Spears or Lady Gaga? Britney Spears. Britney Spears or Lady Gaga? Neither. I think they're both extremely pedestrian artists. Pedestrian artists from the art critic here. Oh, no, I, th I think I think Britney's, I mean, maybe I'm biased because she's a southern girl too, but I, I feel like she's more true to herself. You know, I mean, Britney. maybe... All right, let's see what the uh, what, let's see what the viewing public has to say. You're on the air. Go. Hi, it's me again. I was wondering if uh, Keith Bash could take off his pants. Oh, we just we had some technical difficulty. All right, Brit let's 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 finish this up. Britney Spears or Lady Gaga? Britney Spears. T. Sebastian is going for Britney Spears. I might have to bring him down to the studio for a fine work of contemporary art. Um, Internet Jesus, what would you have to say? Well, um, first I would like to say I really enjoyed it when Britney Spears was bald. That the was, bald Britney Spears. Was, oh, yeah. That, that was a good performance piece, I, I, I should say, but, uh, I feel like Lady Gaga is, uh, a walking cyborg. Okay. She, she's not a human being, actually. Walking cyborg. She's kind of freaky. Walking cyborg is Lady Gaga. There's a call. Let's take it. Sort of nasty. You're on the air. Do I have to choose between Britney Spears and Lady Gaga? Can I have both Britney Spears and Lady Gaga? That was the question. Okay, if you had both of them, give me more detail. How about just move on? Give that man a golden coin today. All right. How good of an artist am I? Who are we talking about? You or myself? I, I I I guess me. I guess it could be whoever answered whoever asked the question. Well, you I have not seen much of your work, but uh, you dress like an artist. You have yes, not. You have a you have a distinct style, yes. But uh, if we're going, let's about take me, uh, let's take a call. I've got a master's degree, so you're on the air. You'll be the best artist in the world if you take off your shirt. Ooh. Ooh. This is becoming some sort of joke, I think. Give that man another golden coin. You can't just give golden coins to everybody. <laughs> what kind of program are you running? Hey, if their answers are good, they get the coin. Timothy, what kind of program are you running? This is not even an art show, necessarily. It's a, I, I, that, that, that's a good question. That could be one of the questions. All right, we have one more question. I didn't get my master's degree in City College to be on the show. Gilligan or Ginger? Gilligan or Ginger? I guess this is about this is referring to Gilligan's Island, Gilligan or Ginger. Yeah, the bucket hat. Um, the old TV Gilligan? show with the with the striped shirt. You're on the air. Go. I want the eye patch to come off also. Oh, you Ooh. wouldn't like what you see. It's it's uh, badly infected and. Uh, Ginger, Gilligan, whatever. I want the eye patch off. Yeah. The man with the eye patch? The man with the eye patch. We're gonna see the mutilated eyeball. He's kind of more like the professor. Maybe, maybe you can pick oh. professor. Ah! Oh. Ah! Stop it's, that! It's Stop that! It's, uh, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, <laughs> it's like a, it burns the like best. Busquiat painting. That was very freaky. A Busquiat painting. All right, one more. One more. Baskets. Why are you so sweaty? It's All right. Oh, um, I mean, I'm a little nervous. The last question of the night. What comes after? What comes after? Is everyone right. here? Okay. Po po mo. Po po mo. What comes after po po mo? I assume you mean post postmodernism. Uh, that, I think that would be right, sir. What comes after is probably something that we can hardly tell yet. Um, I think the uh, hip hop movement. Maybe the Popo Mo show, like you know, you, you, you got your what is art live. You can be followed by the Popo Mo. It could be a TV show. show. This is your last uh, chance to call in and win a work of fine art. I would call in now, and answer the question. I see watercolors coming back. Watercolors. A resurgence of watercolors. Internet say Jesus. We live in a world of post 9/11 pixelism. We rely entirely on these funky ass machines. Post 9-11 pixelism. I still say watercolors. No, everybody likes watercolors. <laughs> all right, you know what? I want to thank you all. Oh, we have one last you caller. Let's try to take them really, really quick. In the den. You're on the air. Go. Uh, contemporary art. 
I mean, anything, anything contemporary right now. Contemporary. What's happening now? Good answer. Bravissimo. Bravi. Did you go to Riverside City College as well? <laughs> Did you also go to Riverside City College? Say hello to Professor um, Winkerbean for me. Say hello to Professor Winkerbean. Give that man a golden coin, Chris. And I want to thank you all for tuning in. Thank you all for coming to Stephen Wolf Fine Art and participating in this fabulous, fabulous edition of This Is Art Live. Uh, we'll, we'll get a last, last message from the internet Jesus. Ooh, and it? is it off? And oh yeah, we'll bring everyone in to say goodbye. We are the world, we right love here. You. We are, we are the world. We are. You're gonna Coca take Cola. it. <laughs> 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 All right. <laughs>